Hey guys, it's Jeremy from Cherry Detailing, a fully serviced detailing shop located in Guam. We pride ourselves in being the best at general detailing, ceramic coating, and window tint installation. For more information, please check out our social media platforms. Click the description down below. We're so excited to kick off our how-to series today. In these how-to videos, we're gonna show you how to do what we do. And we thought what a better way to kick off the how-to videos than to teach you how to give your car a professional car wash, all from the comforts of your own home. Today, we have a Tesla. We're really excited to work on it. Let's start off by explaining why you should even wash your car in the first place and why it's so important you do it the right way. Some reasons why your car needs to be washed the right way are to protect it from swirling, scratches, which can come from debris, even using dirty rags. You want to wash your car the right way to avoid any imperfections. Washing your car regularly can prevent oxidation, water spots, and loss of color. The goal is to preserve the life of your vehicle so it can last longer than expected. Now, let's get this started. Okay, having the right tools makes all the difference when it comes to washing your vehicle. Uh, first thing you want to do is get your hose, or we like to use as a pressure washer. Any pressure washer below 2,000 PSI is safe for your car's paint. Anything above 2,000 PSI will be detrimental to your car's paint. So make sure if you're in the market for a pressure washer, get something below 2,000 PSI. After you're done situating your water and hose, you want to get your buckets. We use two buckets. One for soapy solution and one for plain water. Inside these buckets, we also put grit guards. The grit guards help trap the, uh, the dirt from coming back up into the water and getting it in your wash mitts. The type of wash mitts that we like to use are microfiber wash mitts. Microfiber wash mitts help pick up and absorb dirt and that's the reason why you would wanna dunk it in your water first as a rinse. And then before you touch the car's paint, you put it in the soapy water solution bucket and then you can go ahead and put, apply it to your car's paint. After that is done, uh, you want some good quality car soap. We use Meguiar's car soap and there's ways to make the, your car soap a little bit stronger by adding uh, all-purpose cleaner into it. Uh, for op as an optional use, you can use a foam cannon. A foam cannon helps provide uh, foam and solution all over the exterior of the vehicle so that way you can provide more lubricity, preventing micro scratches and swirl marks. Uh, some tools that you need to use for your wheels, tires, and wheel wells would be uh, some detailing brushes, a tire brush, and an inner, inner barrel uh, wheel well brush. This helps get inside the rim to remove any grime or dirt that's built up on the inner wheel well. Uh, this is to wash the, the meat of the tires, removing any dirt or even uh, other uh, dressing that's on the tire. And then some detailing brushes to get in the lug nut and the spokes of your rims. After that, uh, we have Rain-X. rain, -X. rain -X is used for the glass of the vehicle. This helps repel water, so when it's raining or it's storming outside, you can have clear visibility uh, with rain -X. You can also, and then some car protection. Some car protection is personal preference. There's many out there. Uh, use whatever you like. We, use to, we like to use Technician's Choice ceramic spray, ceramic spray wax, and also a System X Renew, which is a ceramic spray coating. For last but not least, you want to get some good tire shine. Tire shine helps dress the tires, makes them nice and shiny, so that way when you're rolling out, your car is, uh, we like to call this the icing of the cake. It's nice and shiny. It completes the look of the vehicle. Uh, you do need some high quality microfiber wash mitts or some good quality microfiber drying towels. Microfiber drying towels help absorb dirt and water. So when you're smearing, when you're wiping it on the vehicle, you're not smearing the dirt across the paint. Microfiber is the key to washing any vehicle or even doing the interior of your vehicle. Uh, to help you dry the car, you would want to get a leaf blower. A leaf blower helps uh, blow all the water off your vehicle and it also helps remove any water that is trapped in the cracks or crevices of the vehicle. And these are basic tools that you can use to help you wash your car. Starting with the wheels, tires, and wheel wells, because it is the dirtiest part of the vehicle, we want to remove all the dirt and grime off your wheels, tires, and wheel wells to prevent any buildup or corrosion on the rims. Using a designated wheel and tire cleaner, for example, we use Meguiar's non-acid wheel and tire cleaner that helps break down any dirt and grime that are stuck on the wheels and tires. Once we're done with the wheels, tires, and wheel wells, we get into the, uh, washing all the painted surfaces on the vehicle. The first thing we need to do is a pre-rinse, so removing any loose debris and contamination off the painted surfaces. Once we're done with the pre-rinse, we'll use our foam cannon to help provide more lubricity to the paint. 
Once we're done foaming the car, we get into the hand wash slash agitation stage. This helps remove anything that is stuck on the paint from bird poo, road tar, anything that is stuck on the paint, well, the goal is to try to remove it. After doing the hand wash and agitation, we'll give it a nice rinse, removing any solution or any debris that is on the paint. As a drying aid, uh, you can use a spray wax to spray all over the vehicle while it's still wet to help beat up the water, and this also prevents water spots. Then you'll take your leaf blower to blow all the water off the vehicle. This helps remove any water that is trapped inside any cracks or crevices. And also drying consists of using a microfiber towel. Using, the reason why you want to use a microfiber towel instead of a terry towel or a chamois is because it absorbs water and dirt, unlike a terry towel or a chamois that only absorb water. Wiping down the vehicle will include all the door jams and gas caps and the surface of the rims. Once your car is nice and dry, you can take these extra steps to add more protection to your vehicle. Applying protection is a personal preference. We use ceramic wax, but for the Tesla, we're going to be applying a post ceramic detail spray because we have already performed a 10 year ceramic coating detail on the Tesla about a year ago. Once we're done applying some protection, we want to dress up the tires. It's like getting ready for a big date. So you want to put on some shoe shine to impress and look nice for that fancy date. Applying rain -X on the windows to help repel water because we all know Guam's weather is bipolar. To recap, having your car washed the right way is important for the protection of your car. And it's possible for you to wash your car the right way as long as you have the right equipment and time to put into it. If you're interested in any of the tools and chemicals we use in this video, please click the description down below. And of course, if you don't have the right time or gear to wash your car, take it to someone who you know will do it right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.